This is Larry Williams, and I'm going to be showing you Trade Shark today with some of my indicators, old time indicators, been around a long time, but in new software. And some of these are unique to Trade Shark. Let's first take a look at my electronic measure of accumulation going on in the marketplace. Now, it's real simple. I'm going to teach you how to use this indicator right here, right now. We're looking at uh, Google. And this works on, as you will see, futures as well as individual stocks. Notice Google is very strong in here, making a new high close. But look at what was going on in accumulation in the market, non-existent. Accumulation should match price action. And on this rally, there was no accumulation. By the same token, when we made a new low down here, accumulation was actually higher than where it had been uh, prior. So there was divergence between price and accumulation. That's bullish, as you can see just as this is bearish as you can see that's one stock let me show you another now we're looking at IBM again notice what happens on this little rally it looks like a very impressive rally price literally fell out of bed but the underscore view the x-ray view of the market of my accumulation work so there's virtually no buying on this rally at all. It's no wonder it fell out of bed that much. Then IBM starts to rally. Why? Well, look at the big divergence between price action and accumulation. A lot of accumulation came into the market here. A little bit of a pullback. We're under accumulation in this market. It's time for it to rally. And it did. Accumulation is much stronger than price. And of course, we get a rally. That's stock, but it also works in futures. Let me show you a couple right now. Soybeans have had one powerful move in May of 2013. Look what set it up. Look how price is much weaker here. It's back into these old lows, but not our accumulation technique. It's very, very bullish in the market. Just as before the big sell-off, price looked strong in this area, but the underpinnings, the accumulation of the market should know it was quite weak and we would expect a decline in the marketplace. That's how markets move. We can get an inside view into what's going on. Let's turn our attention next to the S&P E-minis. Uh, again, you can see the divergence that sets up between accumulation and price action, especially here. My gosh, markets look strong price was, but price can be so deceptive. We see there's really no accumulation going on in the marketplace. And in May 2011, prices came down precipitously until, look what happened, divergence in the marketplace. Going back to those old lows, new lows, but there's accumulation coming to this market and we rally. What a great tool this has been. By now, I'm certain you can spot the signals yourself. Here's a case of gold making new highs, but there's no accumulation. You would expect the market to decline, and it certainly did decline in late 2012 and almost all of 2013, the first half of the year. By the same token, this big rally that we saw in gold, what triggered it? Well, look what's going on in the marketplace. Price is weak in here. Accumulation is much stronger. Even on pullback, we see more accumulation coming into the marketplace until the market goes under distribution. So if you want an inside x-ray view of the marketplace, I can't think of a better place to find it than right here on TradeShark.